What about this? How did an unlettered merchant with no prior education, no prior military background, no prior learning in technology, science, etc., able to influence a bunch of desert nomads into conquering the two largest empires in the world in less than a decade? Historians today are still trying to figure out how that happened. They still don't understand. They literally do not understand how this was possible. They keep saying, well, you know, the Persians and the Byzantines are weak. But you're talking about an army of like 300 people sometimes fighting an army of like 10,000 and winning. This doesn't make any sense. If that's not miraculous to you, historically speaking, I don't know what to tell you. Because you will not find one historical figure in history that had that much success in that short amount of time with as little as they had. You're talking about camels and horses. They didn't even have proper gear on the horse. They had like rusted swords and they went after the largest armies in the world and they were able to conquer both of them with little effort. That is insane. That's just literally insane from any normal human perspective. Okay. That sounds like a movie. Like, it just, you know, I don't, I don't know how to explain that. And the prophet's character, if you've studied the Sura. How can you, I mean, you can't compare this man to anyone. He was so consistent in his behavior. It was amazing. And the companions were so open about it. They were so transparent about his life because of that consistency. They didn't even try to hide anything because they knew how amazing he was. Even the way he treated his enemies. He was so nuanced. He was so balanced in many respects. 